Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Sagittarius. Message four. I smell chocolates immediately when I first shuffled like Hershey's. I smell like I'm getting Valentine's Day energy, even though I know it's November. I'm getting chocolate, Hershey's specifically. And what? Dang, my cards. As I was shuffling, I got 36 gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. But let me give you one more good shuffle for a Sagittarius. Yeah, so Valentine's Day is other people giving you love. So I'm getting, you know, self-love heavily. But, of course, we I'm tired of hearing about self-love. Like, bitch, we give self-love every day. We we cook, clean, and eat for ourselves every fucking day. <laughs> 25, uh, feel free to break it down. That's a 7. Mural, be your own first priority. So I'm getting self-love heavily for you. And I keep tasting chocolate. 44, master number, storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. You got fire, and then we got air, <laughs> all right? And we have 22, two master numbers. Library, take control of your own narrative. And the overall energy, so I'm getting like with this card, and this is no shade to anyone. I'm getting, stop fucking blaming your hairdresser, your um, mom, your dad, your friend, your lover for how your life is going. If you've been complaining to people for three days weeks months years about how someone's controlling your life you know that person's fucking controlling your life so they're not controlling your life anymore you're allowing them to and i'm sorry to say it like that if you're fucking aware and you've been complaining to people about how you're fucking aware that person's not controlling you you're allowing them to and i again i'm sorry to say that to you people have said it to me so we're in the same boat don't think i'm um impervious to change or shit okay I just felt the need to say that. Overall energy is 15, which is also a six. So we have seven and six. Um, garden, something lovely will grow from this. So know that you're not gonna come out of this like taken for your money. It's not going that way. You're, I feel like you're gonna get justice. I feel like the justice card may come out for you. But yeah, it's telling you to be selfish right now. Be selfish right now. And it's gonna be hard to hear that because it's involving people you care about, people close to you, a person, place, thing, job, career, family member, friend, lover, put it where it goes for you. It's someone close to you who's in a bind. And it's like, take the fall for me, uh, Sagittarius, take the fall for me, or take half, take half or take all of it. And Spirit's telling you don't, they're telling you no. Let that person fall. Let that person fall. It's telling you, first card out the deck is be your own first priority. Fuck that person. I don't care who it is. Fuck that person. They put themselves in a situation. I feel like if it's not you, they put themselves in that situation. They let somebody fuck them over multiple times. Multiple times. They knew what they were getting into. Even if they, if, even if it's not multiple times, even if it's the first time, they knew what this person was doing to them. I'm getting that when I look at this card. They knew someone was manipulating, controlling, and seven of swords, five of swords. They knew and they still did it. And they were like, oh yeah, Sagittarius will save me. No, fuck that. Be your own first priority in the situation. Be selfish. It says every hurricane will come to an end. So someone tried, someone either already dragged you into something or tried to by the end of this situation, because I feel like it's the end of the situation, this person will try to um, take control of the narrative. Fuck that person. Put yourself first. Separate yourself from the situation. Fuck that person. And it says something lovely will grow from this. Let me get into the tarot, because I feel like someone really tried to drag you down with them, tried to play with you. Let's get into the tarot for Sagittarius. One more shuffle for Sagittarius. This person got me fucked up. I'm ready to I'm ready to fight them on your behalf. I feel like you don't want to fight them, but I fucking will. <sighs> Alright, we had the four swords. Yep. Block them. Block their email, text, call, fucking Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Skype, <laughs> I, uh, Facebook Messenger, all that. Block that person, block that person, block that person, block that person, okay? Block them. 
Knight of Swords trying to win at all costs. I'm telling you, this person, they're trying to reach out to you, get in contact with you. And I was getting, when it comes to clubs and stuff, this person tried to let you in. And once they let you in, they tried to block you, but it didn't work. It's like after you two stop talking, because I feel like this is a specific message for someone. This person was uh, inviting you to every club, letting you into every club. But after y'all two stopped hanging out and talking, you still went to those clubs and they tried to block you from getting in, but you kept getting in anyway. So you didn't even realize this person was trying to block you. So if someone was trying to block you, you don't even realize it because your texts and calls and stuff kept going through. I don't know why I'm getting like that, that Taco Bell sauce up here with this card. <laughs> The world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I feel like this is you. I know Sagittarius is not a part of the world card, but I feel like this is your part of this. Like you're a part of the world card. I want to say Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus for some reason. All right, we have the six of cups, the past, nostalgia. So you could have kids with this person for some of you. You know if you have fucking kids <laughs> with this person, or you could just have a history, a past. A sibling, a friend, someone from your past with this person. You have history. Overarching issues, it's the magician, Gemini, and um, Virgo. I don't know why I wanted to say Libra or Taurus with this card. I wanted to say Libra or Taurus heavily with this card. But this is Gemini and Virgo. Libra and Taurus was fighting for me to say it. <laughs> so that could be significant for some of you. you may want to watch that reading or you have it highly asked because someone does. But there was a manipulative character in your life. They're blocked. You have the world and the four of swords. They're blocked. They were very manipulative in your past. They're blocked. The world, you have the world and the four of swords. They're blocked. <laughs> now with the nine of swords, they're trying to win at all costs. And then when we have this card, 22 library, you can manifest. I mean, you, you control your own narrative. Take control of your own narrative. This is a manipulative person trying to treat you as a Muppet. In the past, they're using methods that they used in the past to uh, manipulate and control you because they weren't uh, able to manipulate and control you. If not physically, it was mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. In some way, this person was able to manipulate you through trust, through love, through closeness because you knew them very closely in the past, Six of Cups. With the magician, yeah. And now they can't. With the world card, that's over. It's done. The four of swords, it's over. It's done. You're being selfish now. And this person may even call you selfish to make you feel bad. You're being selfish now. And now they're trying to win at all costs. And they're pulling out all the stops. You're being selfish, Sagittarius. And using spirituality against you because they know that you're spiritual. Like, karma's going to get you. And they're saying all this hurtful, mean, nasty. They're hitting at your core. They're hitting at your core. Your nerve. Because they know what you're into. They know what you like. They know that you're going to listen to this. I don't know why Taco Bell is significant. We have garden, something lovable will grow from this. I don't care if this person's hitting at your core, your nerve, your Achilles fucking heel. Block that bitch. First card out is four swords. First card out of the Oracle card deck is mural. Be your own first priority. Then you have the four swords over it, clarifying it. With the Knight of Swords winning at all costs, be for real. Be fucking for real. It's telling you to cut that person off. doesn't matter what they're saying. And they're talking that good shit. Trust and believe. With the Magician as the overall energy, they're talking that good shit. Okay? <laughs> Block them. Because they know you. So they're going to say things they know trigger you. Clarify this for Sagittarius. And it doesn't mean you have to, like, go for it. I don't give a fuck what they're saying. You deserve better. If you're watching this, you deserve better. I don't care what went on in the past between y'all. If you're watching this, you deserve better. Especially if you're not being manipulative. If you're not the one being manipulative in this situation, you deserve better. Period. All right, let's clarify. They finna piss me off. I feel like playing The Sims. <laughs> I don't know, that was random. I feel like playing The Sims right now. Clarifying the Four of Swords. 
is the strength card, Leo, strong eight energy. Yep, have the strength to block this person, the tower. That's gonna cause them a tower. It may even cause you a tower because you've never blocked this person. Or maybe every time you block them, you go through a tower. It's something like that. But you, you, this is gonna be easier said than done. You can do what you want. I'm just the tarot reader. I don't mean shit, <laughs> all right? But I'm just telling you, block them. They're gonna go through a tower if you do. You may even go through a tower if you do. That's Aries, uh, Leo energy. Aries with the tower, um, Leo with the strength. Block that person, be your own first priority. And if there's someone in your life calling you any, any type of distress, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, block that person. They're gonna go through a fucking tower. The minute you block them, they send a text and they don't see it delivered, they're gonna lose their fucking mind. Cause you think that, oh, they don't care. They're, they're more, your hater is more dependent on you than you think. Your hater needs you to be affected by them, needs you to dream. A hater is an energy vampire, period. A hater is an energy vampire. Clarifying the Knight of Swords is the Ace of Pentacles and the Temperance Sagittarius. There you are. But because you went at all costs, because you blocked this person, you get a new job, a new stable beginning in abundance. There's a new job or some type of income that gives you a peace of mind. Congratulations. Congratulations. The world card. So you close the cycle permanently. And this is also Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. You And I felt like this was you. I feel like you're part of the world card, even though I know it's Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I feel like Sagittarius, the world card is you. Closing a cycle permanently on the Seven of Swords, which is lying, cheating, stealing. Someone was plotting on you. You close that cycle permanently. And then we have the Seven of Wands. Standing up for yourself. You, you standing up for yourself against this person close the cycle on them permanently there's no going back because you see them totally differently now six of pent um six of cups clarified by the nine of wands a card of perseverance the wounded warrior with high priestess pisces oh you may have gotten a tarot reading on the situation or of course this reading could be confirmation on your past situation to move forward from it nine of wands um, the Wounded Warrior card, the card of perseverance and the High Priestess, all-knowing, higher knowledge. Overall energy is the Five of Pentacles. You've been investing in this shit for years, months, weeks, and you ain't get shit back. You, if anything, you lost more than you gained in this situation because they've been very manipulative, very calculated. This person was going to eat you out of house and home. If you were giving this person anything, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, financial, energy, they took all of it and they never intended to give you anything back. And I feel like, and I know it's cliche, but it was out of pure jealousy. Pure jealousy. I feel like you have a new job, new sorts of income now, or you're about to. And this person wanted to plot on that and they failed because you took control of your own narrative and blocked them out. Whether it's you actually block this person's number or any form of contact towards you, or you just block their effects on you. Either way, they can't manipulate you like they used to, and that's causing them a tower. This person's going through a tower because they can't manipulate you anymore. And now everything they placed on you is going back to them. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.